Excuse me. Do I know you from somewhere? I don't think so. A pretty good memory for faces. Uh -huh. All right, so we have here, excuse me, do I know you from somewhere? How would you ask that question using different words? Uh-huh. I would ask, sorry, do we know each other? Ah, yeah, you could also say, have we met before? Oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Right? And then, I don't think so. I have a pretty good memory for faces. This line is nice. I don't think so. A pretty good memory for faces. Uh -huh. I would say that usually I don't have any trouble recollecting people's faces. Ah, okay. Nice. What you just saw is called paraphrasing. Paraphrasing is basically the ability to say the same thing using different words. If you want to put your paraphrasing skills to the test, stick around because we're going to be playing some clips here and practicing our paraphrasing skills. So let's see how you do. Every week there is a new video here on the channel designed to help you understand your favorite movies and TV series without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and without subtitles. So hit that subscribe button in order not to miss a single new video. Elsa and I were really close when we were little, but then one day she just shut me out and I never knew why. All right, Frozen. Elsa and I were really close when we were little. I think of an expression here, which is very nice. You can say that we were two peas in a pod. Mm, really you nice, know? two peas in a pod. Yeah, you can use that to say that uh, you are very similar to someone not only in terms of appearance, but also even in terms of taste. So maybe here, mm -hmm. they used to be close when they were little. They were like two peas in a pod. Yeah, they like mm -hmm. the same plays, the same games. Uh, what about shut me out? But then one day she just shut me out. She isolated herself and she mm -hmm. stopped sharing things with me. I right. also thought about she would never let me in since then. Yeah, oh, it's a good one. In. I like that. Yeah. Open up to someone right open up one day mm -hmm. she stopped opening up to me yeah meaning that they stopped talking basically oh she you turned can... a cold shoulder ah yeah this is to ignore someone yeah you give yeah. someone the cold shoulder so let's watch the next clip hmm. did your mother tell you we were roommates back in the day and you graduated with your sanity intact impressive all right uh did your mother tell you we were roommates back in the day? How would you paraphrase that? Did your mother tell you we used to share dorm rooms in the past? Mm-hmm. Okay, nice. Right. And graduated with your sanity intact. That's a <laughs> tough one. Sanity intact. More simple way to put it? Yeah, yeah. And you graduated without going crazy? Oh, yeah. Without going right? crazy or going nuts. Uh -huh. But this sounds much more advanced. You graduated with your sanity intact. Much more advanced. Mm -hmm. but sanity yeah, is like crazy. mental health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would, that would go crazy. All right, we got here now Top Gun, Maverick. Let's check it out. But what the enemy doesn't know is your limits. I intend to find them, test them, push beyond. But what the enemy doesn't know is your limits. Another word for enemy could be foe. Foe. Mm -hmm. So, but what your foe doesn't know is how far you can go. Yeah, your limits. Or maybe shortcomings. We could even say your, limitations your, or as well. Or limitations or, I don't know, maybe even weak points. It's not about weak yeah. points, but yeah, it's just like about limits. Mm -hmm. I intend to find them, test them, push beyond. Maybe I intend to, could be I, I, plan, I plan to. I plan to discover, put them to test, take them to the limits. <laughs> or take them to extremes. I don't know, something like that. Push beyond. Okay, my movie memory is acting out here now. You said take it to the limit, right? I got to uh -huh. say that this is a great song from a classic gangster 80s movie with Al Pacino as well, Scarface. I love Scarface. Mm -hmm. I love The Godfather, as you guys can see yeah, here, but also Scarface with Al Pacino. And one of the songs from the soundtrack is called Take It to the, take it to the Limit. Oh, it's, so, it's such a good... I have to listen to it again. I haven't listened to that song in a while. <laughs> so I can know to good push memories. beyond. Eh? One of the most frustrating things is when you learn new words and expressions, like the ones we are learning today. And when it's time for you to actually use those words in conversations, they don't come to you. You forget them. I know it's a horrible feeling. 
but there's a powerful system you can use to help you memorize all these words and expression. This system is called space repetition. Space repetition is a learning technique that involves reviewing and revisiting information at increasing intervals over time. The basic idea is to expose yourself to the information you're trying to learn in a way that optimally reinforces your memory. As someone who works in English, I can't stress enough how important it is to have an ample vocabulary. And we have made it easy for you to incorporate space repetition in your learning with the Real Life English app. With the app, you can learn terms of words, phrasal verbs, and expressions with our advanced technology that helps you review the words you're trying to remember by presenting the new vocabulary to you at strategic times. Wouldn't you also like to effortlessly use the right words and expressions when you need them? So if you want to go from feeling like a lost, insecure English learner to becoming a confident, natural English speaker who actually remembers all the words you study, download the Real Life English app and give it a try. I'm sure you will love it. Go to Google Play Store, Apple App Store, search for Real Life English, or simply click on the link in the description of the video. I'll see you there. Next clip, and with an E. I'm aware that I'm not much to look at, but even though I'm thin, I'm very strong. That's a good one, Xenia. I'm aware that I'm not much to look at. How would you paraphrase this? Okay, I acknowledge that my appearance is not very impressive. Wow, so polished. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> I acknowledge. Good, I recognize, right? But even though I'm thin, I'm very strong. And despite being slim, slim is the synonym for thin, I possess strength. I want yeah. I, I was looking to for the word to change very incredible strength. extraordinary incredibly extraordinary strength yeah <laughs> there you go yeah sometimes all we, all, all we need to do is just change the class of the word yeah here we mm -hmm. have an adjective mm -hmm. strong we, we use the noun strength all right we got here pussing boots let's see how dare you show your face to me I know you're angry you have every right but it is good to see you, puss. <clears throat> meow, meow. How dare you show your face to me? I know you're angry. You have every right. But it is good to see you, puss. <laughs> I love the How meow, dare meow. you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh -huh. show your face to show up, yeah? I know you're angry. Mm. I know you're upset or you might, might feel anger. Again, changing the class of the word. You might feel anger towards me it's justified you have mm. every right it's justified just coming back very quickly here to how dare you i could say also um i can't believe you had the nerve mm. to show your face had the in nerve. front of me very nice to, uh -huh. right when you have the nerve to do something you dare to mm -hmm. do something right you have the courage yes. but kind of a to provoke some someone else you know next clip zootopia you're gonna have to master all of them before you hit the streets Oh, guess what? You'll be dead! Well, uh, the movie is about, I think, a, a bunny, right? A bunny who mm -hmm. is a cop. So before you hit the streets, before you go out on the street to start working as, a, as an officer, right? Yeah, you can also say on your first day at work, yeah? You're going to have to master all of them. You must or you have to learn everything about it, right? Or, yeah. yeah, you'll be dead, could be you'll be gone or you won't last longer? You won't last. All right, James Bond, Casino Royale. He's a gun for hire. And thanks to your overdeveloped trigger finger, we have no idea who hired him or why. So he's a gun for hire, he is a hired assassin. Mm -hmm. or, or he's a mercenary. a prof professional killer. Thanks to your trigger finger, uh, I think it means um, quick reaction, right? Because of your quick reaction, because you shoot the man, you <laughs> shoot the guy. Yeah, yeah, because you shot the guy. We have we have no clue, or we are clueless who he was hired by and why. Yeah, trigger finger is exactly what you said. Like, shoot first, think later. Being impulsive, there you go. And finally here, Xenia, I have a clip from a lesson that did very well here on the channel that you presented about Narnia, the Chronicles of Narnia. Let's watch it. It's not every day that I get to make a new friend. Well, I suppose I could come for a little while. <laughs> It's not every day that I get to make a new friend. Pretty it's not every day I have the chance or the opportunity mm -hmm. to befriend someone. Meet a new friend instead of make a new friend, you can say, yeah. 
mm-hmm. or befriend someone. Mm-hmm. I could come for a little while. I could join you for a little while. I could pay you a short visit. You see, guys, so this is the power of paraphrasing. Every successful English speaker is able to paraphrase things. Remember, the idea of using different words to communicate the same thing. So let me give you a challenge right now. The challenge is I'm going to give you a sentence and I would like you to post here in the comment section your variations of this sentence. How could you paraphrase this sentence? Here's the sentence. I was too tired to go to the party. So that's the challenge. I'm looking forward to seeing your paraphrased sentences. All right. Global citizens, thank you very much for learning with us. But you should know that this was just a short clip from the full lesson. The full lesson is available on the Real Life English app. So come on, download the app and continue listening there. You're going to learn even more cool stuff. See you soon.